Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will discuss in detail solving problems involving proportions. Steps in solving problems involving proportions. Step 1. Read the problem carefully and identify the given and what is required. Step 2. Determine a ratio of quantities to be used. It is of your own reference. Step 3. Set up the ratios based on the given information in the problem using the preferred ratio of quantities. Step 4. Equate the two ratios to form the proportion. And Step 5. Solve the proportion. Problem number 1. A cake recipe uses 6 cups of flour for every 2 cups of sugar. If you want to make a recipe using 12 cups of sugar, how many cups of flour should you need? Let's start to what is given. 6 cups of flour for every 2 cups of sugar. Let x 4 cups of flour needed for 12 cups of sugar. The ratio of quantities to our problem is flour is to sugar. Our two ratios are 6 cups of flour is to 2 cups of sugar. X cups of flour is to 12 cups of sugar. Our proportion 6 is to 2 as X is to 12. To solve 6 over 2 equals X over 12 uh, since it is in a fraction form. So we will uh, cross multiply them. So 6 times 12 equals... 2 times x. And just because mathematics is from bigger to lower, we will not multiply 12. Of, uh, instead, we will divide both sides by 2 to cancel. Cancel also 12 and 2. We have 6. So 6 times 6 equals x. Our x therefore equals 30. For our next problem, a steel bar is cut into two parts in a ratio of 4 is to 7. Find the length of its portion if the steel bar measures 55 feet. For the given in the problem, 4 is to 7 is the ratio of cuts of steel bar. Let x be the shorter portion and 55 minus x be the longer portion. Then we will use the ratio of quantity shorter cut is to longer cut. The two ratios in our problem will be 4 is to 7 and x is to 55 minus x. And our proportion to solve 4 is to 7 as x is to 55 minus x. Uh, to solve for x in this uh, proportion, again, cross multiply. So we have 4 times the quantity of 55 minus x equals 7x. Remove the parentheses by distributive property. 4 times 55 equals 220. 4 times x equals negative 4x equals 7x. Next, 220 equals, we will combine like terms, 7x. If we will transpose 4x to the right, it will become positive 4x. 220, 7x plus 4x equals 11x. Divide both sides by 11. So, our x equals 20. Therefore, the lengths of two cuts of a steel bar are 20 feet and 35 feet. Next problem number 3. The ratio of boys to girls of grade 11 students of a certain school is 8 is to 15. Find how many are there for its gender if the grade 11 enrollment is 184. The givens are 8 is to 15, the ratio of number of boys to girls. Let x be the number of boys and 184 minus x be the number of girls. The ratio of quantities to be used on this particular problem is boys to girls. Our ratios are 8 is to 15 and x is to 184 minus x. The proportion to solve 8 is to 15 as x 
is to 184 minus x. To solve the proportion 8 over 15 equals x over 184 minus x is by cross multiplication. We have 8 times 184 minus x equals 15x. Apply distributive property to remove the parentheses. So 8 times 184 is 1,472. 8 times negative x is minus 8x copy 15x. Combine like terms. So copy again 1,472 equals uh, 15x. Transpose negative x to the right will become positive or plus 8x. 1,472 equals 15x plus 8x is 23x. To remove 23 from x is divide both sides by 23 so that 23 from x will be cancelled. 1,472 divided by 23 so we have... Uh, 64. Right. To solve for another value, so we have 184 minus x. 184 minus our x is 64. So the other value is 120. So therefore, our x is 64 and 120. Therefore, the number of boys and girls are 64 and 120 respectively. Problem 4. In a certain zoo farm, the ratio of lions to giraffes is 3 to 8. If there are 15 lions, how many giraffes are there in the zoo? For our given 3 is to 8 ratio of number of lions to giraffes, let x be the number of giraffes in ratio to 15 lions. The ratio of quantities lions to giraffes. Ratios are 3 over 8 and 15 lions is to x giraffes. Proportion to solve 3 over 8 equals 15 over x. To solve the proportion 3 over 8 equals 15 over x is cross multiply again. So we have... 3 times x equals 8 times 15. Copy 3x, multiply 8 and 15, so we have 120. Divide both sides by 3 to remove the coefficient 3, so we have x equals 120 divided by 3 is 40. So therefore, the proportion is 3 over 8 equals 15 over 40. Therefore, there are 40 giraffes in the zoo.